curtainy type gauzy material. It used to cover everything back here, but it got semi destroyed. Now I've got a little kind of wad. This stuff I'm pushing around is the retina. And just imagine, yes, that can become detached in the normal animal, detached retina. If it's bad and doesn't reattach itself pretty quick, it's going to result in blindness. I don't think I ever saw it clinically, but I sure heard about it. If you're going to move the retina around a little bit, you'll see that it's stuck down at one particular point. And when I move it that, the point that it's stuck at, see, right there. That's <coughs> where the optic disc is, uh, this end of the optic nerve inside the eyeball. It's usually, or almost always, right on that junction between the black and the silvery bluish color. Now this layer here, see the black and the silvery blue, all of them together are choroid. The silvery blue part happens to be it's in, you know, some category. That part of the choroid is called the tapetum lucidum, and that's going to be in your list. And that is the part that shines at night when you shine a light into the animal's eye. So the light comes through, the retina once bounces back out through the retina so we get a double dose of light for stimulating those neurons and photoreceptors. What kind of looks like an abalone shell? Seashell, tell them that. They don't know what an abalone is. Like they think it's like albino baloney or something. <laughs> <laughs> something else we can do at this point is we're going to find one in my optic nerve. My goodness, it's way over there. I'm going to cut this a little bit shorter, closer to the back of the eyeball, with some trepidation, I would say. But you don't need a I'm fine. Thank you. You're great lady. found the optic nerve. Is the blind spot the optic disc? The blind, yeah, it's because there's not really photoreceptors there. Okay. That's more of a people thing. We don't worry about that in dogs and cats, but I vaguely recall that from human anatomy. So we know where our optic disc is on the inside. <coughs> we know where our optic nerve is on the outside. I'll try to cut through both of them at once. I, can, I don't know if you can see them, but I can see sort of both of them at once. So we're just going to try to go through that without cutting myself, we hope. And if you've done this in the right place, and I'm not sure, yeah, it's pretty, not, not too bad. There's the optic disc, and there's the optic nerve. Optic disc, and the optic nerve, I think I'm a little bit off, but I've got the edge of it. That's good enough for y'all to get started on, isn't it? Plus, y'all want you, right? <laughs> <laughs> 